In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at controlling your camera feeds in OBS while live streaming. In the previous video, I'll put the link in the description below, I showed how to set up different multiple cameras in OBS, and today we're going to take it a step further and I'm going to show you how to control those cameras in the most effective way while you're live streaming. We've all seen this in live streams, where someone will move a camera to show something that is outside the camera's view. It can be annoying to watch and can distract not only the viewer, but the presenter as well. But with multiple cameras set up in OBS, we can switch between cameras as well as other sources, all while maintaining a smooth running live stream. Besides which, it will also seem a lot more professional. So if we take a look at OBS, you can see that I have three cameras attached, as well as a website and a media source. You can add as many scenes as you need and still be able to have complete control, even during a busy live stream. In OBS, the most simple way to control the scenes is to simply use the mouse to click on the desired scene, and then click transition between the preview window and the display window. Although this is the most simple method, it's also very cumbersome and can result in users taking their eyes off the stream. To make life easier, there are user interface devices out on the market, and these include various video mixers as well as more consumer-friendly devices such as the Elgato Stream Deck that enable the presenter to keep control over the stream, as we don't always have someone else who can do that for us behind the scenes. These devices work by allowing the presenter to switch scenes by means of tactile switches, and with a bit of practice you can use these devices without needing to take your eyes off the stream. But if budget is an issue, you can pick up one of these. It's just a plain numeric keypad available from Amazon for just a few pounds, and it can sit just about anywhere on your desk. And once you have the keys programmed to specific functions via the settings in OBS, it can be operated with just one hand and without needing to break concentration. In addition to these devices, and to make life a whole lot easier, OBS has a largely overlooked option. If we go up to the taskbar at the top of the screen and click on View, we get a drop-down menu and right at the bottom are two options, Multi-View Full Screen and Multi-View Windowed. If you hover over Multi-Screen Full Screen, and if you have more than one monitor, you can choose the monitor you want the Multi-View to appear on. Meanwhile, with the window options, you can manually move and resize the window before placing it wherever you want it to sit. When we click the option we want to use, we get a very easy to use screen that shows all the scenes you currently have set up in OBS and also the current view of the scenes that are queued up to transition to and the scene that is currently live in the stream. So starting from the top left, we have the preview window, which is the selected scene that OBS will switch to and to the right of that is the program window. This is what the stream viewers are currently seeing. And below both of these are the preview windows for all the scenes you have currently set up in OBS. Once you have the scenes set up to your user interface by assigning a specific keystroke, you can easily select the required scene and press transition all from one hand and without disturbing your concentration, allowing you to keep your streams running smoothly. When you press the corresponding button, you'll see a green outline around the scene that you've selected. This lets you know which scene is selected to show in the stream when you press transition. The window with the red border is the scene that is currently showing in the stream. And this built-in method not only allows you to see all your sources in real time as you stream, but it's also probably the easiest method of changing scenes while live streaming. You can now control your stream all from one screen, as well as have complete control over all the elements of your stream. So now you can have complete control over your multi-cam streaming setup, enabling a smooth and professional look to your live streams. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please press like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.